the bird seed, okay? Now don't be selfish. Everybody share. Well, I have to go now. You promise to be good while I'm gone? <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow. All that and I'm still only halfway through? Finished my chores, Kaido. How about you? Rina. I thought Taki was supposed to be helping you. Don't tell me he didn't show again. He says he's got a rash that you can't see on account of it's invisible. You know him. He's always got something. Guess you gotta do it alone then, huh? Too bad. Actually, Rina, since you're my friend and all... Not a chance. Come on, it won't take long. Rina, you're not gonna leave me stuck here, are you? Uh... I'll see you later, Kaido! Rina... Did you send for me, Your Magnificence? I, your humble, loyal, dedicated, adoring... You're sucking up more than usual, Dragoring. What are you up to? Have you followed my orders and found a way to harvest Earth's life force? The purest form of life force on Earth is something called the Aurora Borealis, and I know how to use it to lure the Dino Knights into an inescapable trap. Once they're out of the way, all of Earth's life force will be ours, your enemy. I tire of the pathetic ideas. My patience is wearing thin. Tell me, your enemies, have you ever heard of miniaturization? Spare me the details. Just do it. Sire, your wish is my command. <laughs> that Kaido, trying to con me like that. Huh? Unreal! An aurora! I've never seen one around here before. Wow, it's beautiful. The northern lights belong at the North Pole. Why are they here in the southern sky? I'll give you a one-word answer, Dragosaurs. They want the Aurora's life force. The North Pole is mammoth country. I'll go check it out. Wait, Mammoth. When the team's charged up, we can all go with you. Too late. He's gone. Hey, guys! There's an Aurora in the sky! We know, Rena. We think it may be the Dragosaurs. Hey, where's Dino Mammoth? He went to find out why the Aurora is so far south. There was no time for the group to prepare. We only have enough energy for one. I'll look after him, Trano. Once we've teamed up, Mammoth and I will report back as soon as we discover the cause of the atmospheric anomaly. Good. And if there is trouble, the rest of us should be back to full power by then. I'm ready. When do we leave? You can't go, Rena. This mission would be much too dangerous for a human. But you may need my dino daggers to recharge. And anyway, my sunny personality will brighten things up in that cold, gloomy country. No! Why not? Don't you think you're strong enough to protect me, Brachio? Reverse psychology. Uh, I didn't mean to. Well, huh? she's right about the dino daggers. You better take her along, Brachio. As you wish. All right! But you'll have to follow orders to the letter. Yes, sir! Aye, aye! Private First Class Rena reporting for duty! It's gotta be here somewhere. I'm gonna need that down lining. Oh! It's a perfect style for the North Pole, and the colors even match my ride! Rita! Huh? Oh, uh, Dad. Heavy coat on the summer day. Where in the world are you off to? Uh, well, you know, I mean... Oh, I bet you're going to the ice rink. Uh, yeah, you're really close, Dad. <laughs> uh, well, I'll see you later. Don't skate too fast. Be careful. I'm always careful, Dad. You know that. Anyway, how fast can I go? <laughs> you take our mission too lightly. I know it's super dangerous and all that stuff, but I still want to have fun. There's no time for fun. You need to prepare yourself, Rina. You must clear your mind and focus. Can I focus while I'm eating a piece of fruit? Natural snacks are good for concentration, you know. And FYI, one can focus and have fun at the same time. Come on, Brock, you lighten up, will ya? There it is. Huh? The Arctic. Dark and dreary with avalanches and 
big blizzards. It is like that in the winter. It's so dark here, the sun doesn't come up for months. But in the summer, it's just the opposite. The days go on and on, the sun never sets, and the arctic midnight is just as bright as noon. Mm, you sure know a lot, don't you, Brachio? Knowledge is indeed important, but only when applied with wisdom. Strange. I sense Mammoth nearby, but somehow his presence seems small and weak. You think something happened to him? Dragazoids! Dragazoids here too! <laughs> All right, come on, I'm not afraid of you! Hide over here, Rena. Why should I hide? Remember, you promised to obey my orders. Okay. We're going to do to you! Attack him! to help, Mammoth, but we must make sure that Tyranno and the others don't fall into the same trap. The Dragosaurs left here heading north. We've got to follow them fast. How can we go fast when we're so small? There must be a way. We've just got to think of it. We don't have skis or sleds or anything like that. Well, then we can just... skate there. Huh? You got it! Careful! The ice is slippery! You worry about the dino stuff! There's danger here, Rena. Remember that. Look, if I can find that machine, I can reverse the process and get you back to normal. Just be careful. Ah, uh, be careful. That's all I ever hear. Look, if I'm going to help you, you're going to have to do this my way. Now, hold on, guys. Whoa, Rena! Wow, look at this. The Dragosaur's trail leads to this crevasse, but how can we get down there? This thing's as big as the Grand Canyon. You can't see anything from in here. Open it up. Oh, uh... Whoa, look at that. We can't look when we're stuck in here, Rena. I think the Dragosaurs went that way. It's some kind of old mine. This must have been abandoned a long time ago, like 20 years or so. You think 20 years is a long time? Humans. Rena. Huh? They're doing some kind of construction down here. Really? Yes, can't you hear it? 
No, I don't hear anything. I wonder why. I must teach you to listen like a dinosaur. Huh. We'll go down and investigate. <gasps> Wait a sec. What? I just thought of a great idea for Kim. It looks like we can go through here. Right. But I still don't like this disguise. It's ridiculous. It's better than this one. Yeah. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to be a hero, you know. Is that right? Anyway, those are perfect disguises. Who would ever suspect you were dinos? This is humiliating. True. But she has a point. All right, let's go. I could have done without the bow tie. At least you got legs. <laughs> it's a long way down. Maybe this extra padding will help. <laughs> Guess not. Well, look on the bright side. Things couldn't get any worse. Shut him up! Rats should never attack dinosaurs. Agreed. That's always a bad move, Jason Boy. I believe we're getting closer. You're right. I can feel it in my bones. Man, look at that. They're building something. It's an extractor. I recognize the design. At that size, if they finish it, it could draw out all of Earth's life force right down to the core. I wonder where those kids' toys came from. Oh, well, who cares? Rena, how did you get here? Carefully, this place is crawling with dragosaurs. Not to mention those yucky, disgusting rats, but at least there weren't any scorpions. I really hate those. The Earth is in danger, Rena. They're planning to draw out all its life force. Look at that! Hmm? That's the machine that shrunk us. They're setting a trap for Toronto and the others. Listen! I can use it to change you back to regular size. Too dangerous. How dangerous is it if they destroy the Earth? I've got to do what I can to save it, don't I? Dragosaurs are fierce, and you are not a warrior. I'll never know what I can do unless I try. All right, we'll do it together. Hmm. Behind you! What is it? Scorpion! Scorpion? On your back! My back where? Huh? I'll get it! Yeah! Here, let me give you a hand. Are they okay? 
They will be if I can unshrink them with that machine over there. All right, we're with you. Let's do it. Final Tyranno! Power of the Ancient! Silver Sword! Dino Knight ready! Go ahead, you two. I'll keep them busy. <laughs> one way to change the subject, my friend. It is really pretty, though. And this time, it's not a Dragazord trap. Nope, that's the real thing. Uh... 